Welcome back guys, so today we're gonna have some more Cast Crush and guys, as I saw in the beginning, we do have the free new stickers or emojis you will be able to get them from the tournament mode you can get one from the grand tournament and one from the moss tournament and to get them you need to finish the tournament and get those 10 wins the one with the gold background, that's gonna be a bit more difficult to get only one person will get that emoji and to get that you need to have the most points in the end of the season in the tournaments and as you saw, you will be able to get like different kinds of emojis and you will be able to swap them around and, and take which one you want to battle and use them in normal battles as well as in tournaments. Of course, there will be more tournaments and more kind of rewards like these emojis. So I'm super stoked about that. As well as the tournament that will start tomorrow, that's gonna be awesome. But guys, enough about tournaments, let's play some battles. Right, let's see what next card we can get. Definitely not a good card to start out with. We got Excusion, alright, I'm really hoping that we can get like the Extra Crystal or like the Man Ritual. I believe I got like two of each in the stick. I guess I'm going to go with like a Black Witch on that. I don't have like another bomb, so we probably won't get that. Arch Queen, can we like him that time? No, oh, guys, he did get a Tears Blister back. So we kind of need to do something for that as well. We do have the Shaman, that's perfect. I'm just going to use the Shaman, why not? But we kind of have to watch out for that. That Arch Queen at the same time, I'm just going to freeze. And hopefully that Shaman will be able to care for it. It won't, he will push it back. So guys, he was going to Inferno, will get the Skeletons, Archers as well as the Arch Queen. I'm just going to wait a bit and then I'm going to use the Arrows as well. Has to make sure that they don't have like a resurrection. So we'll get all those troops back. Will the shaman take care of the vampire? The shaman did take care of the vampire super close right there. Alright, that's gonna go with our black knights. That's gonna do a ton if we can't counter it. It's gonna go with one more screen. We can't go skeletons there at the bottom side. Because that fan answer that will take care of the skeletons super easily. Right, he kind of helped us there, he has a small bit, he did take care for Black Knight, but Sorcerer Queen, that's a skeleton right now. Right, look at this, one more Black Knight. And now let's go with a Vampire as well. We're going to heal up that Executioner, come on. And we did get the Siege Plus in that Executioner hit as well. I believe that's going to take care of Skull King, the Skull King is out. Sally did take care for Black Knight, we're going to go with one more Vampire. This is going to do a ton, guys. Like Executioner, backing that up with a Vampire, super good combo. Look those skeletons, one hit there out, and Vampire will do a ton of damage through castle. And guys, right there we did get victory, that's awesome. I did get the silver chest with that as well, not too bad. Let's gonna start off with bombing the skeletons. Oh, he's running with kind of a rush deck because he did use the stone statue. Two stone statues. And he got the siege blista or the stand bearer as well. Alright, but look at this. We're going to use the vampire. That's going to do a ton of work. Like, will it even do something? The stand bearer? The stand bearer, it doesn't even touch the vampire because the vampire, it will get its health back. I'm just going to use a Skeleton Swarm right here. I'm just going to heal up that Storm as well. We did manage to heal it up. And it's going to go with even more Skeletons. So look at this guys, we're going to freeze. That Storm will do a ton of work. It will one-shot each Skeleton. And there is the Reaper guys. We're going to go with the Black Witch on that. That's going to take care of the Reaper for sure. The other Skeletons, I'm not too sure about that. Come on, Excusion, we did manage to take out the Skeletons as well as the Reaper with that. I think we're pretty much fine right here. Oh, 
but we're not gonna count him out just yet. He's gonna inform that. And the Black Witch or the Black Knight, that's gonna do a ton of work and we're ready with our lightning spells if it's gonna go with a Reaper. As well as we got the bomb, that's perfect. Look at this, bomb skeletons, there we go. And one more skeleton, or one more black knight. Gonna go vampire as well. And guys, at this point, we're going to get this. I don't think he can defend this push. Look at this, vampire, storm, and two black knights. And his castle went down super fast, and there we go, we did get victory once again. So that's kind of the thing with the Reaper deck. As long as you can defend in like the beginning, you're pretty much set. Because in the end game, with all these high mana cards and so, Reaper decks they have a tough time to actually defend. I actually think I'm going to freeze to say Paratory Tears or Freeze. Perfect timing on the freeze. Hopefully we can take after a parrot. What should we do? I can't till that up. That's kind of a waste on heal spell, I think. But we got something else, guys. We got the Black Witch for this. And he did heal up, so this might be a complete waste for him if we manage to take them out. Alright, so we managed to actually save the Phoenix right there. We're going to use the Vampire. It will take care of the Egg unless it's pushed it back. We did take care of it, that's perfect. But the Vampire, it can't walk like the entire lane, so that will die, of course. We're going to go with the Shaman. And our queen, what do we do against that? We need the lightning. I'm just going to go with the execution so we can cycle our cards and get those two cards. We got the lightning, look at that. And skeletons versus the executioner, not a good choice. Right, so it's running with a unseen demon as well. What should we do against that? We're just going to do inferno. That is not enough, guys. But now it's going to have a super tough time to actually play other cards. It can be like a super good thing to actually save Dancing Dim if we had like Gust of Wind. Because then we're kind of punishing him because he got that plus 3 mana cost on all the troop cards. Let's going to go with Dragon, why not? Giant go with Mage. Need to watch out for that. Okay, look at this, we're going to go with the Black Witch and then we're going to bomb. Look at this, bomb. There we go, and he inferno the wrong lane. Super bad for him right there. That might cost him the game, who knows. We're going to heal that up, so wasted his lightning right there. Going to go skeletons. We're going to heal up the vampire, look at this. There we go, full health vampire, that's going to do a ton of damage. And guys, I think we'll get this for sure, look at this. And he left the game. Alright, but good game. Right, so in this end we got like almost all spells, we got the storm as well. We got lightning, so now we got all spells and we got the storm. So let's go with storm. And we got a few spells to actually back him up if we need to. He's going to go with that, we're just going to bomb, I think that will take it out. Almost super low HP. Can we take it out? There we go, ours is alive, we're just going to inferno. It did not go out, I was so certain that that would go out. So right now this is not good for us guys. Let's going to go with a lightning on the storm I guess. Right, what do I do next? Okay, perfect vampire, that's gonna work. And then maybe like... So shaman here at the top lane that will take care of the dread. Or I hope so. Oh no, our shaman did go out and I did actually remove the heal spell there by mistake. Let's gonna wait a bit and then just air so we can get rid of the mage. Just gonna get the orc in that as well. So that and skeletons. Alright, I think we're gonna do just fine guys. Just gonna lightning that red. Our castle up, that's going down. But I think we can fan. Let's just go executioner. And now what do we do? Maybe like execution on that and heal that one up. Like this. 
Now we need to get the troop card out fast. Let's just watch our castle life and I must come to freeze and then use the dragon. That freeze maybe wasn't necessary, but I didn't want to gamble there because our castle health, that's super low. Let's come to freeze this or rage, or we're going to inferno. That dragon that's going to do a ton of work, and we need something for that as well, those executioners. So what I'm going to do is that we're going to go with one more dragon. And I'm going to freeze this, look at this. And now what do we do? Dragon, I hope we can take care of this. There we go, Chris is out. Demon 2, there we go. And now Shaman. We might do a combo right here, this is going to be insane if we do, guys. So let's just go Vampire here, and we're going to go with a Black Witch right here. Maybe I should have used the Black Witch on the Apex instead. We're going to like that. We need to take care of the Orc instead, that's not good, guys. Not good at all. I don't think the A-Part will do it with one shot, it won't. Now we need something for that lane as well, the bottom lane. We need something other than an A-Storm. Okay guys, we're going to lose. Super close, but good game right there. Right, but that battle, that will end the video. So guys, this is it for today's video. And guys, I will see you next time.